Good morning to you watching me now. This is Lee Busy with Spanish Made Simple. Today, I brought you lesson number 12. We'll be talking about this verb, gustar, which is to like in English. This verb can get you into real, real big trouble if you don't use it properly. Sometimes you might think you're using it properly, but you're not using it properly. So if this lesson today, if you are driving, you don't want to watch this lesson. Okay? If you're watching me for the first time, this is not for you. If you have not watched lesson 11 and lesson 10, you may not understand this lesson. Okay? That's why I would suggest you to stop it there or pause it there and then go back watch lesson 10 and 11 where I talked about like the personal pronouns. Then you can understand this lesson today. If you're watching me for the first time, please subscribe, share, leave us a comment. I can guarantee you, you can learn with us. To conjugate any verb, it is very important to have something called personal pronouns, so which is obvious in English. In Spanish, not mandatory, but in English, we, we, we need to have that. Okay? But I'm going to tell you all the personal pronouns in Spanish so you know them. Yo. I. Tu, you, il, he, he is used in Spanish for anything. Might be for, el is used for like animal, person, thing, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Same thing for ella. Ella is also used for a person animal or thing because everything in spanish has to be either feminine or masculine it doesn't matter whether you're a person or a thing when it comes to it in, in english we don't have that in spanish in spanish in spanish you have to be either male or female feminine or masculine we don't have we have no choice. okay nosotros this is for we vosotros for you, plural. And finally, we have ellos, which is a they. Now we have the personal pronouns. It is easier to conjugate that verb. But be careful. This verb I'm going to teach you today, it is a tricky verb because it messes up the syntax. So you need to pay attention so you can understand. So there's a great chance you don't understand. If you don't, I'm not going to blame you. Okay, that's why I always suggest that you go back and watch lesson 10 and lesson 11 before watching this lesson. But let's conjugate the verb first, which is gustar. Yo gusto. Yo gusto. Tu gustas. Tu gustas. El, ella, usted gusta. Nosotros gustamos. Nosotros gustamos. Vosotros gustáis. Vosotros Gustáis. Ellos, ustedes, gustan. Ellos, ustedes, gustan. Okay? Now it's pretty clear. It's just like a like. It's, just, it's the same thing with the verb to like. But be careful. It is very tricky because the syntax is going to be completely different from what you would expect. Let's jump to the syntax right now. Okay. To like, gustar. This verb requires indirect object. I mean, if you don't know what indirect object means, I mean, I'm sorry. You would have to go back and watch lesson 10 and 11. This verb gustar requires indirect object. So the syntax would say is subject. Let's say in English we have subject 
plus to like plus object. Meanwhile, in Spanish, with these verbs specifically, it's going to be subject plus indirect object plus gustar because this verb requires indirect object. I'm going to come up with a few examples so you can understand that. With the verb gustar, the person talking, let's say like the, the subject in English is going to be the object in Spanish. That's why it's just a bit, a bit tricky. Be careful. Let's say, I like you. I like you is going to be tu me gustas. I was subject in English. Meanwhile, I in Spanish is going to be object. You was object in English and you is going to be subject in Spanish. So be careful. It's like tu me gustas. Okay? So it's don't say yo te gusto. So you're saying something completely different. Okay? I like you, tu me gustas. It's like, like, you please me. Okay? Another way you can say, I like you. Since in Spanish, you have the freedom to remove the personal pronoun for, sub, for the subject. That's why we can easily remove tu here. We would say, me gustas. But it's, it's literally, tu me gustas. But we just say, me gustas. I like you, me gusta. Like, you please me. Or like, let's say like, I like you would be like, you please me. That's how it works in Spanish with this verb. Let's say, you like me. You like me, you is subject. And in Spanish, you is going to be the object. And me was object in, in English is going to be subject. Like, like, you like me, yo te gusto. Yo te gusto. Okay, you like me, yo te gusto, I please you. That's how you would like interpret this thing. Okay, yo te gusto. Okay, you like me. Another way we can say that, since in Spanish we can just easily remove the personal pronoun for the subject, since yo is the subject there, we, you, could, you can easily say, te gusto. Te gusto. Have you understood so far? I hope you, <laughs> I hope you have, right? Okay, let's review right, right now. I like you, tu me gustas. I like you. Me gustas. You like me? Yo te gusto. You like me? Te gusto. Let's continue. We're going to use all sorts of all sorts of like a combination so you can understand what is going on there. Okay? Be careful. Okay? I like her. I like her. I is subject, be careful. I is going to be object there. Ella me gusta. We follow the pattern, it's going to be subject plus indirect object plus the verb. Ella me gusta. I like her. Ella me gusta. Ella is the, the subject. That's why the verb has to be conjugated with the subject. Okay? Ella me gusta. I like her since we can easily remove the personal pronoun for the subject. Ella is the subject. We just remove ella. We just say, me gusta. I like her. Me gusta. Me gusta. Now, Let's turn it around. Let's say like we would say like she likes me. We turn it around to see how it is going to behave. That's pretty tricky, pretty interesting. It's just like it puts the syntax upside down. It, that happens 
with this verb, but with a few other verbs, but I'm going to teach you later on, not today. She likes me. She likes me. Yo le gusto. Remember? Indirect object for la, for she, is going to be le. It doesn't matter whether it is masculine or feminine, it's still going to be le. Yo le gusto. Yo le gusto. Be careful with the accent. Gusto. Now, if we keep going on, since we can easily remove the subject, the personal pronoun for the subject, so we can just remove yo, and we'll just leave le. So it's going to be le gusto. This form is widely used by uh, like Latin American. So that's how, that's how they speak. They don't really use like both pronouns. They just only use like one, the indirect object, and that's it. Let's review it. I like her. Ella me gusta. I like her. Me gusta. She likes me. Yo le gusto. She likes me. Le gusto. That's pretty simple. Let's continue. We're going to, I'm going to make like all sorts of combination to make sure it is pretty clear, to make sure you understand everything as simple as possible. Okay? It's the same, the same pattern. Subject plus indirect object plus the verb. I like you, but this you is going to be like the you plural in English. I like you. And in Spanish, it's going to be vosotros me gustáis. Vosotros me gustáis, sorry. It's going to be vosotros me gustáis. So the verb is going to be conjugated with vosotros, with you. Because, I, because it is literally saying you please me. That's how you can interpret it in Spanish so you can understand it a lot better. Vosotros me gustáis. Let's just remove the personal pronoun for the subject as we have that possibility in Spanish. We have that freedom. We just remove it so we can speak faster, even easier. I like you. Me gustáis. Me gustáis. Very important for the accent. Just as the accent is important in English, it is also important in Spanish. Be careful. Me gustáis. Me gustáis. Now we're just going to flip it to see how it, is, how it is going to be. You like me. So it's going to be you plural. You like me. Yo os gusto. Yo os gusto. This form is not very like, not commonly used in Spanish. Probably in Spain, they might use it, but in Latin America, you, it's really rare to use that, to, use, to, to see the, this shape, this form. They don't really use, use it, but it is Spanish. Yo os gusto. Yo os gusto. Now, we just remove the personal pronoun for the object, and then we just like, we left that with the... Os gusto. Okay? Os gusto. That's pretty simple. Os gusto. Okay. Now, it's time to review. I like you. Plural. Vosotros me gustáis. I like you. Me gustáis. You like me. Yo os gusto. You like me. Os gusto. Let's continue. It's going to be the same pattern, but be careful. Keep in mind, it is, going to, it is indirect object in Spanish. Okay, not direct object, indirect object. I like them. I like them. So it's going to be, ellos me gustan. So the verb is going to be with ellos, with them. Because them is going to be subject in English. Now, in Spanish. Ellos 
me gustan. They please me. Ellos me gustan. Now, we have the, 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 the most used shape, which is like by removing the subject personal pronoun. So we just remove ellos and we only have like me at this time. Okay? It's going to be me gustan. That's pretty simple. It's really hard to hear somebody saying, ellos me gustan. But me gustan, that's the most commonly used form. Okay? But keep in mind, it is ellos me gustan, because since in Spanish, they give you that freedom to remove the subject personal pronoun, we just remove it. Okay? Now let's just flip it around to see how it is going, going to be. They like me. They like me. Okay? So it's going to be Yo les gusto. They like me. I please them. They like me. Yo les gusto. Yo les gusto. Now, by just removing the personal pronoun for a subject, which is widely used, which is like the most common form you would find, you wouldn't even hear. It's just by just removing the subject, then you just uh, leave les gusto. Now we just have les gusto. Les gusto. Be careful, because if you use this thing, if you just cross it by accident, you're saying something completely different and you can accuse somebody cause serious issue in a relationship. So be careful. I like them. Ellos me gustan. I like them. Me gustan. They like me. Yo les gusto. They like me. Les gusto. You might even be offensive with this verb if you don't, if you don't pay attention to what you're saying. But it's going to be like by ignorance, but be careful. With liberty, you know all those tricks so you don't, get in, you don't get in trouble, okay? You like him. You like him is going to be Él te gusta. Él te gusta. Él te gusta. Now, we just remove the, sub, the personal pronoun for subject and that form is the most commonly used, the most widely used by like Spanish speakers because the subject it is rarely used, barely, uh, rarely used. They don't really use that. Okay? So we just like drop the subject and then we just keep the indirect object and the verb. We just say, te gusta. You like him? Te gusta. Like, el te gusta, or just say, te gusta, that's basically the same thing you're saying. Not different. Now, it's turn to just flip it around. I just flip it, and now him is going to be the subject. Okay? Now, you is going to be object. And then, we just go ahead and say, he likes you. But you is object. Remember, he's going to be subject in Spanish. Tú le gustas. Tú le gustas. Tú le gustas. That tú here with this accent, it is very important. There is another two without accent, but it has completely, a completely different meaning. So the accent you see in Spanish, they are very important. They are vital. Be careful with them. If, they are, if there is an accent, you better put it. Don't take, don't, don't, take it, don't take it off. Okay? He likes you. He likes you. Le gustas. Pretty much the same thing. He likes you. We just remove the, the, the subject 
the, 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 the idea doesn't change. It's still the same thing. You like him? Él te gusta. You like him? Te gusta. He likes you. Tú le gustas. He likes you. Le gustas. Simple as that. Let's continue. The same verb, gustar. We're making all sorts of combination to see. So I mean, because you will be facing one of them anyway. Okay? You like her. Remember, in Spanish, you is subject and you is going to be object there and her is going to be subject. That's why we start, we start with ella. Ella te gusta. Ella te gusta. Ella te gusta. Now, we're going to remove the personal pronoun for subject as it is allowed in Spanish. So we're going to have like a different shape, the most used, the most commonly used shape. Okay? And that shape is going to be just, we just drop the ella and we just left out with te gusta. And we have te gusta. That's pretty simple. Okay? Te gusta. You like her? Te gusta. Bien. Now it's time to just flip it around. Her now was object. We're just going to put her as subject. And you is going to be object. We flip, it around, we flip it around to see how it is going to be in Spanish. Very interesting, very tricky. Let's say she likes you. She likes you. Remember. You is going to be subject this time. Tú le gustas. Tú le gustas. Tú le gustas. Tú le gustas. Now, we just, it's time to drop the personal pronoun for subject. We just drop it. And now we're going to be left out with just le gustas. Okay? Let's see what they're going to say in Spanish. We can't go wrong with this one. Exactly. Yes. Le gustas. That's it. Le gustas. Now it's time to review. You like her. Ella te gusta. You like her. Te gusta. She likes you. Tú le gustas. She likes you. Le gustas. Pretty simple. Pretty fun. Okay. I hope you understand so far. You're not confused, right? It's pretty simple. <laughs> okay. I hope you're not confused. As, as long as you manage... Direct and indirect object, you should be fine with that, okay? Good job. We just follow the, the pattern, subject plus object and the verb, you should be fine. She likes them. She likes them and them is going to be subject. Ellos le gustan. Sometimes in Spanish, they just put the, the subject at the end. I mean, this, I mean, the, the, the subject we had in English, so they just tend, they tend to put it at the end in, 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 in Spanish. That's why they say, ellos le gustan a ella. But they put a preposition, a, in front of it. You can use it for all of them. But sometimes they just use it mostly in the third one. But you can use it like all the way. But if you don't want to use it, that's completely fine. This, I mean, the meaning doesn't change. Okay? She likes them. She likes them. She likes them. Le gustan. Well, so like, like, ellos le gustan a ella. But we can say, we can just say, a ella le gustan, we can just say, a ella le gustan, or we just don't say that. 
okay you can add it or just you, you or you just do not add it because it doesn't change change the meaning some people just want to add add little things okay let's just flip it around this time you like me yo te gusto yo te gusto Yo te gusto. Then let's say like we want to remove that yo here and we place it. We just drop it. It's going to be like you like me. We just drop that yo. We just left out. We just te gusto as simple as that. Okay. Te gusto. That's it. Let's review it. You, she likes them. Ellos le gustan a ella. She likes them. Ellos le gustan a ella. She likes them. Le gustan. You like me. Yo te gusto. You like me. Te gusto. Simple as that. Let's continue. Okay, the same pattern, the subject plus indirect object plus the verb. That's how it works in Spanish. She likes them. She likes them. Ellos le gustan a ella. Ellos le gustan a ella. Ellos le gustan a ella. Now it's time to it's time to remove the subject personal pronoun. It is easier for us to communicate to speak. We just decide to drop it since we have that freedom to do so. So when we do so, we just left out. We just le gustan. Okay, let's see what they say in Spanish. It's just going to be, yes, le gustan. But sometimes, some people might, might want to, to say, a ella le gustan. O, le gustan a ella. You can put this a ella before or even after. But it just added a little bit of flavor. But by not adding it, it doesn't alter the message. So you don't need to do that. But if you want to sound like cool, you just add it. Okay, but it's not mandatory. Okay, now let's flip it around. They like her. They like her. Ella les gusta. Ella les gusta. Ella is subject. Ella les Gusta. Ella les gusta. Muy bien. Now, let's just remove the subject, the personal pronoun for subject, to make it shorter, or even easier, or even cool. So we just have les gusta, because we just drop that ella. Yes, so we have les gusta. You sound more natural. Les gusta. Let's review now. She likes them. Ellos les ellos le gustan a ella. She likes them. Le gustan. They like her. Ella les gusta. They like her. Les gusta. Yep, let's continue. We're going to make all sorts of combination to see what we can get. We like you. We like you. It's going to be Tú nos gustas. Tú nos gustas. Tú 
nos gustas. Now it's time to drop the personal pronoun for subject to sound more natural, more confident. Okay, we just say drop that two. Okay, we drop that two, and now we're gonna be left out. We just say nos gustas. Exactly, nos gustas. It's easy as that. Okay, let's repeat, please. Nos gustas. Nos gustas. Now it's it's time to just flip it around. Subject is going to be object, and object is going to be subject. We'll do the same thing. Okay, we're going to have now. You like us. You like us. In Spanish, it's going to be Nosotros te gustamos. This form, I've never heard that before, but we know it is, is, is just, it is in Spanish. But I've never heard somebody using this form. Nosotros te gustamos. Nosotros te gustamos. Now, it's time to drop nosotros. That's just too much for us. Okay? We just drop nosotros and we're going to be left out with just te gustamos to make it easier to pronounce. Te gustamos. Te gustamos. That's correct. Let's review now. We like you to nos gustas. We like you nos gustas. You like us. Nosotros te gustamos. You like us te gustamos. But be careful. We have the right to remove the subject only when it is a personal pronoun. Keep that in mind. We have the right to remove the person, I mean, the subject only when it is a personal pronoun. But if it is a noun, you cannot touch that. Don't even try to touch it. Leave it there. Okay? You don't want to touch that. But now you're going to have to use preposition. A. As a somebody, okay? Now we got, we're having names here. I like Maria. I like Maria. Maria me gusta. Maria me gusta. Don't say Maria, no. Maria. Maria me gusta. Now you can just you can change Maria position. Maria, if Maria is if Maria is in the beginning, you can put Maria at the end. Okay? You can put Maria at the end without any issue. But don't replace it. Don't throw it away. You cannot do that. You're not allowed to do that in Spanish. Okay? <laughs> okay. I like Maria. I like Maria. Me gusta Maria. Me gusta Maria. You can put Maria before or you put it after. But you don't want to throw it away. You're not allowed to do that. Okay? Me gusta Maria. Me gusta Maria. Now, let's just like flip it around. Maria is going to be, Maria is going to be subject in English now. Maria likes me. Maria likes me. So, me is going to be the, the, sub, the subject right now, right? It's going to be, yo le gusto a Maria. In this occasion, yo le gusto a Maria, then Maria is going to have that particle A, which is a preposition. Since Maria is going to be the object there, then you have to put that preposition there. Then it's going to be A. 
yo le gusto a María. If you want to put Maria before, you can still do that. But still, you have to use that preposition. Okay? You can just say, le gusto a Maria. Since now you are a verb, I mean, I, the, the, the subject is yo, yo le gusto a Maria, then we have the right to remove the subject. We can just easily remove that yo. And we just say, le gusto a Maria. We can say, a Maria le gusto. There's no issue with that, okay? That's pretty simple. It's getting a bit more complex, more complicated, but it's still easier. It's still easy to understand. It's still easy to be digested. I think so. Okay, let's continue now. Same pattern, same shape, nothing is changing. He likes Andrea. He likes Andrea. Andrea is going to be subject. That's pretty obvious, right? Andrea le gusta. Andrea le gusta. Don't say Andrea, okay? Andrea. That is real Spanish. Andrea le gusta. Andrea le gusta. Now, if you want to just like, you cannot remove Andrea since Andrea is the subject. It is the subject, but it is not a personal pronoun. It is a noun. You can put it after but make sure you, you, you make sure you, you, you pay attention to what you're doing. Okay? Le gusta Andrea. He likes Andrea. Le gusta Andrea. So Andrea is still the subject, but it is after the verb. Pretty crazy in Spanish, right? The subject after the verb. Le gusta Andrea. Pretty interesting. <laughs> Le gusta Andrea. Crazy syntax in Spanish. But it is easy to understand because Libes is just breaking every, every little thing down so you can understand, you can digest it easily. Andrea likes him. Now Andrea, Andrea is the subject in English, right? Since Andrea is subject in English, it's going to be object in Spanish. El le gusta a Andrea. If Andrea is the object in Spanish, be careful, you have to use that particle, the, pre, the pre, that preposition, preposition, sorry. You need to put that preposition there, which is a or a. El le gusta a María. You have to put it there. You cannot say el le, el le gusta a María, no, no. El, el le gusta a María. Now, since el is the subject, we can just remove it because we have the right to remove any subject which is personal pronoun. We just say, le gusta a Maria. We just drop that L because it is subject and it is a personal pronoun. Go away. We don't need that. It's not, it's not necessary. Le gusta a Andrea. Le gusta a Andrea. Let's review. He likes Andrea. Andrea le gusta. He likes Andrea. Le gusta Andrea. Andrea likes him. El le gusta a Andrea. Andrea likes him. Le gusta a Andrea. It's pretty simple as that. Now it's turn. Now it's your turn. We have like a little exercise to see whether you, un you actually understood what, we what we've done so far. I'm going to, now you're going to prove yourself. You need to prove me wrong. I still have some doubt that you're not going to understand, but prove me wrong this time. Okay? Show me that you understood. Okay. You only have like Two seconds, right, to guess it. It's going to go quick. We like you. Go ahead. Okay. If he said, nos gustas? That was right. Because we was a subject. We is going to be a we like you. I mean, you was an object and you's going to be subject. So it's going to be nos gustas. That's why you see nos gustas. And we was a subject. We's going to be 
object. That's why we have nos. Nos gustas. Cool. Keep continuing. You like her. If you guessed, ella te gusta? That was right. Ella te gusta. Hmm. The way you're looking at her, hmm, something like you feel something for her. I feel that. Okay. Ella te gusta. You like her. Then you was subject, was going to be object. That's why I say you become T. And her was object in English and it's going to be subject in Spanish. It's going to be ella in Spanish. That's pretty simple, pretty obvious. We just cross everything. Subject becomes object. Object becomes subject. That's it. She likes him. Él le gusta a ella. That's pretty cool. Él le gusta a ella. Él le gusta a ella. Pretty cool. Okay. She was subject and it's going to be... It's, she was subject. It's going to be object. Okay. And him was subject. Him was object in English. And in Spanish, it's going to be subject. Him becomes él. Le. She becomes le. Él le gusta a ella. They like her. Hmm. Mm -hmm. If you if you if you guess, ella le gusta, les gusta because they become less. They were subject and now it's going to be object. Ella les gusta. Her was object and in Spanish it's going to be subject. It's going to become ella. That's pretty simple. We like you, nos gustas. You like her, ella te gusta. She likes him, él le gusta a ella. They like her, ella. Les gusta. We have another one. Don't go away yet. Just one more. One more. Be quick to respond because you only have like a few seconds to respond. Right? Be quick. Maria likes you. If you guess, tú le gustas a María. That was correct. Maria was subject. Then there, Maria is going to be object. You was object in English and you is going to be subject in Spanish. You becomes tú and Maria still, be, still says Maria. But, but, but now, since Maria is object, you have to put that a particle there as a preposition. As long as Maria is object, you have to put that a there. Good job so far. I like Anna. I like Anna. Anna me gusta. Anna me gusta. I was subject in English and it's going to be object in Spanish. That's why we have I become me. But Anna is still going to be Anna because it is a noun. You don't want to touch that. Okay? Leave it like that. Anna me gusta. Anna me gusta. Ana me gusta. Now let's continue. You like Joanna. Good job. If you say Joanna te gusta, that's correct. Because you was subject and you's going to be object. Okay? And then Joanna was object in English and it's going to be subject in Spanish. You become te and Joanna still stays Joanna. Joanna te gusta. Joanna te gusta. Okay, Joanna te gusta. Let's continue. Isabel likes me. If ever you guessed, le gusto a Isabel, that's correct. Isabel likes me. Isabel was subject and it's going to be object. But since it is a noun, you have to put a before it. Le gusto a Isabel. Let's review. Maria likes me. 
likes you, tú le gustas a María. I like Ana, Ana me gusta. You like Joana, Joana te gusta. Isabel likes me, le gusto a Isabel. That was all for today. I hope you understood everything. If you understood, leave me a comment. If you did, didn't, leave me a comment. But I, I'm pretty sure if you didn't, it's because you didn't, you have not watched lesson number 10 and lesson number 11. Because there's no way you would understand this class without watching lesson 10 and 11. Okay? Have a wonderful day. See you for the next lesson. Take care.